All right, we saw the Victorian state budget come down on Tuesday. Billions and billions uh, thrown around for health care and ambulances all ahead of the November election. However, it's just likely to be another round of empty promises, according to a report from The Age today that revealed none of the 10 community hospitals promised by Premier Andrews on the eve of the last election have been built or upgraded, not one. Let's bring in my panel to discuss this and more from Melbourne Director of the IPA, Gideon Rosner, and commentator, Kosha Garda. Gideon, I'll start with you. All promise, uh, no delivery, all, all hat and no cowboy. Uh, is it any wonder Victoria's got a health crisis? Look, it is no wonder Victoria's got a health crisis, but all the same, Peter, you know, uh, even though we haven't built new ones, the, the Commonwealth Government and the states have been throwing money at hospitals, both side of politics, for a very long time. I think it's time to face up to the fact that we don't necessarily get our money's worth on that. But, you know, this is what Labor does. This is their budget papers with the branding showing health. This is the way they're train, trying to frame the election, not because they're good at it, but because they want to scare people into voting for that is voting for them. That is textbook uh, Labor. They use, you know, people dressed up as ambulance workers and so on to make the same point. Uh, the question is, will they manage to frame the debate and coast to another term of Dan Andrews and the Labor Party? We'll have to see.